Hello, welcome back to Buckle Up. My name is Rob Wilson. And I'm Jasper Bruce Wright. And on today's video, we're going on a road trip to Wales as we spend 24 hours in this, the new Hyundai Santa Fe. Let's go. Right, well, we're on our way to our first destination on this Welsh road trip. Yes, are we actually in Wales yet? Not, not, not yet. quite. Not yet. Um, but we're going to somewhere called Llyn Brian Dam and Reservoir, or as the I, Welsh would say. I assume Llyn Brian, yeah. just a subtle uh, C on that double L. <laughs> what do you think of the Santa Fe so far? We've been in it for about 45 minutes, mm. an hour, been well, cruising along. I mean, sitting here as a passenger, it's so comfortable. The, the immediate surroundings, I've got a lovely armrest on everything. The mm. materials feel very nice, very mm. premium. Do you want to touch the centre of the steering wheel? Oh, that's quite good as well, actually. There yes. we go. And I've got, I've got actual wood in the door cards and mm. across the dashboard centre. Yeah, this is an interesting interior with the like tan leather and dark yeah. wood and uh, uh, Rob. aluminium. Rob, it's brown. It is brown. I think it is slightly more soft than a yeah. Sorento. So we both recently drove the new Sorento. Yeah. And I think, not that I'd call it sporty, mm. but the Sorento felt slightly more sporty than this does. Yes. I think partly because of that shorter wheelbase, but also I think the Sorento is a little bit more stiffly sprung. Mm. It's intentionally pointed slightly towards a bit more of an engaging drive. This feels like something that's incredibly relaxed well, as and the, wafty. The, yeah, the designer, Simon Lowesby, mm. of the Santa Fe, um, does just call this a box. Um, which in, in an endearing it, sense, yes, though, he, he points which out. Is, no, but there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. It, but what it does mean is that it's, it just has that sort of presence on the road. You can, you've got good yeah. visibility, because you can basically go until your back window touches. Mm. But you've got a, this mirror can become a camera in this spec. Yes. So you can fiddle around with that. You've got your corners on your bonnet to look at. You've got nice big mirrors. This all feels and looks and mm. uh, operates in a very premium Hyundai way that we've yeah. become used to since the launch of the Ionic cars. Yeah. So, yeah, very it's all good. Very slick interior and infotainment system. Anyway, uh, we'll catch up with you in Wales. <laughs> Right, we've done a bit more driving. We're in a, we're in Wales now. We're, we're, we're properly in Wales. Yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere. It's very scenic. So we're about to arrive at our reservoir. Yes. Somewhere down here. But I have to say, it's handled itself on these roads. These are yeah. some narrow, twisty, potholed, yeah. horrible roads, and it's. It, it, it can uh, it can hustle. Yeah, it can hustle. And even, I mean, for, from the passenger seat, it doesn't feel particularly large to place. We've still managed to uh, do 41, 42 miles to the gallon. And that's with not exactly sympathetic driving as well. No, no, we've been, well. we've been hooning it. Um, so I've been hooning yeah. it. So, um, that's quite impressive. That's very impressive. For something yeah. this big. You're not going to get that no. in just a normal petrol, if you just had a no. normal petrol engine. It's not fast. But it's not going to be because it's something that's quite large and has got a 1.6 turbo petrol with a decently beefy uh, electric motor assistance in the case of the Fev, 256-ish mm. yeah. PS. But yeah. It, 
in this kind of size of vehicle, you've got to have kind of say 300 plus horsepower before something starts to feel properly quick. Yeah. This is some pretty spectacular mm. scenery, isn't it? It is indeed. Oh my God. Well, that's that's a view. pretty. That is a view. You've taken over now. I have we've indeed. Been, we've been to the lovely, lovely reservoir that was so windy that we couldn't even stand up. So we definitely couldn't film, but you'll have yeah. seen some lovely shots of that just now. So we're on some fantastically pretty roads. <laughs> yeah, they're all very much single track with some passing places, but we seem to be the only people mad enough to be out here I know. in this abysmally windy and wet weather. It could be worse. We could be camping in these cars in this weather tonight. Oh, oh wait. wait. Oh, no. Oh, well, well ah. let's see how that happens uh, yeah. later on. But what 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 do you think? What I are you mean, thinking? Well, safe to car. say this scenery is gorgeous of and I'm car. definitely coming back here. Of but car. of the car, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Mm. The steering's got a good amount of weight to it. Mm. Um, it's not a numb driving experience, which makes a change in this segment, really. Yeah. It handles itself very well, despite these bumpy road conditions. Mm. It's perfectly comfortable in here. It's quiet. The powertrain yeah. is present. And if you put your foot down, obviously, you do get a bit of engine note coming through. I'm also really quite enjoying following another Santa Fe because I think it does look very purposeful on the road. And I've got one in the rear view mirror as well. Oh, yeah. hello. I wasn't sure on the back of the Santa Fe mm. when I first saw it. Yeah. But following this one. Yeah. It's uh, grown on me. Yes. The plug-in hybrid powertrain really suits it. Mm. No diesel option, though. No, which would suit it even better, I think it would. If you think about the diesel in the Sorento... And that how we drove, good that was. Yeah, and, and knowing that that power plant is available yep. in the Kia Hyundai world. Yeah. And it's a it bit of a shame in the equivalent of the Kia yep. version of this car. Mm. Uh, I would like to have seen that as an option, I think. Especially given they're kind of pushing for efficiency, because despite this being very rectangular, mm. it's actually got a drag coefficient of 0.296. Yeah, it's pretty which ridiculous. Is very impressive for the yeah. size of vehicle it is. So, shall we uh, drive a bit more and then uh, see if our campsite's blown away? Yes, something like that. Let's do that. Well, Rob, we are nearing the end of the first day of our Hyundai Santa Fe Chabac experience. Mm. And actually, I don't think we've touched on that word, have we yet? No, Which... so the, the tent, the tenting situation is a, uh, it's, it's a South Korean word, as you said, Chabac, mm. which is camping in your car, yeah, basically. Yeah, car and camp, cha, yeah. car, back camping exactly. essentially so we are going oh not we because we're very important motoring journalists someone is going to convert the cars into little hotel rooms for yes. us and in fact we get a vehicle each we at do this yeah place we're not we're topping to. and tailing no matter how much i asked that we yeah. uh, we could they just said no 
we're not allowing it. The weather's not brilliant, but no. hopefully our chabak will be okay. Yes. But we'll, we'll film a little bit of it so you can see what it looks like. Mm. What, um, we, what we do know today is mm. we've driven just about 180 miles yes, in the long, Santa Fe. a long way. It's been a long old day, about five, five and a half hours of driving. It's been very pleasant. The car drives nicely. Mm. Um, it's very smooth, very quiet. It handles these Welsh roads quite well. Mm. However, the weather has deteriorated somewhat throughout mm. the day. Um, it's now quite misty, grey, overcast, and a little bit rainy. And also, we're led to believe, frighteningly windy. Yes. Um, we were supposed to camp on top of a cliff. Yes. But they thought that might not be a good idea. Can't imagine why. Yeah. So I think we might not be camping at the top of a cliff. It might be at the bottom or slightly further down a hill. Yeah. Um, which is absolutely fine by me. Mm. Um, but yeah, we'll, I... we'll, we'll cut to some lovely sweet, sweet B-roll of mm. the campsite. Hello viewers, you join me in the back seats of the Hyundai Santa Fe and I am here for the Chabak experience. Oh, hello, I'm in my Chabak, which means a, uh, a Hyundai Santa Fe with a lamp in it and a mattress in the back, so... That went exactly as planned. So what the team have done is they folded the rear seats down, they've put an air bed in here, and I've got bedding, I've got pillows, I've got a throw, apparently I've got a hot water bottle somewhere as well. And they've even kitted me out with some uh, pillow mist spray, which is lavender, frankincense, and chamomile. And uh, I've got a can o water. Uh, and there's also an iPad to watch Netflix on. There is actually a surprising amount of space back here. So I've got my little torch, my Hyundai torch, that's uh, also a lantern. So if I take that off, I can press this button and it becomes a torch of some description. There you go, torch. Oh God, I've got to... Excuse me, I've got to get my trousers off. This is, this is going well. I am going to the land of Nod. So uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Right. I'm tucked up. Um, um, hopefully I sleep okay. See you in the morning. <laughs> well, that was a rude awakening. <laughs> I played very little part in that apart from pointing out to Pete and Brian that we maybe needed to wake you up. Yes, I uh, I had a night mask and ear things in so I could sleep properly and uh, that also means I cannot be awoken, mm, yeah. uh, unfortunately. So we are now in a different Santa Fe. Yes, we we're are. in a hybrid, mm. but top spec calligraphy. Yeah. Um, because we thought, let's get the most expensive one to because we're driving it up, up a massive up hill. A hill, yes. Um, which is what we're doing this morning. So this is um, we assume the all-wheel drive one. We don't know. It's all been a bit rushed last minute because this is what we were supposed to do last night, but it was too windy and rainy yeah. and miserable. But 
the Santa Fe is coping with it well. We've it's put it well, in yeah. in terrain uh, mode and put it on mud yep. just in case. Although I don't really I, think it I needs it. I don't think we need to have done that. We're hoping that we're going to have some pretty spectacular views up here at the top. Yeah, so am I. So um, we will catch up with you there. view and a half. That. Whoa! was well worth a look at wasn't it yeah that is some pretty darn good scenery there yeah. well done Wales <laughs> well done Wales and uh, it is a massive shame I think that we couldn't be up here last night but oh, no. based on the rain we got overnight yeah I think and was... the wind that we did sometimes feel at the campsite yeah I think it wouldn't have been particularly comfortable or nice no because we're here. 600 meters below this um, <laughs> yeah but I tell you what, this may be a soft roader. Yeah, absolutely. But it's doing more than the majority of owners will ever need to do right now. Oh yeah. So if you are looking at a Santa Fe and thinking, hmm, yeah, but it won't go up the farm track at my house or it whatever will. it just will it's got reasonably good ground clearance it's not a land rover it's not a defender no but it's got all-wheel drive in i mean you can spec all-wheel yeah. drive you choose your powertrain it's and got... it hasn't slipped once it's got hill descent control we, you've got the different traction modes it's yep. dealt with everything that we've done today which is not once driven it on tarmac so far no we haven't and, actually it's all and been it's, gravel it's, been pissing it down with rain all yeah. night and it's uh, it's literally fine so that is something I have learned because I would have just assumed this was not very good off-road but it is I think the general theme with this car for people who have a dismissive opinion mm. is it's way better than people give it credit for yeah across every metric that you can measure really yeah but let's head back down get ourselves ready and then we'll do the return leg. Yes. We've now driven many, 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 many miles. <laughs> Yeah. In the HEV. Mm, yes. So slightly different to the car yesterday. A mm. um, little bit less power, but mm. absolutely still more than enough. Yeah, I think I prefer this powertrain mm. to it's, the plug-in. And you've also got the fact that with this, you'll always get the hybrid boost, which you don't, mm. you don't necessarily always get in a plug-in, especially when the battery drains. Yeah. I think we've passed 24 hours now. Yeah, we have. Um, so we're, we've got 15 more minutes to go, and then we'll, uh, we'll be back at, at base, mm. and we can uh, do a little conclusion. So we'll see you there. Right, so we've now spent 20, 26 hours with the new Hyundai Santa Fe and we can report that you can drive it quickly you can drive it off-road yep you can sleep in it yeah and um, it's pretty good actually isn't it yeah all things considered we haven't done a full review of this because we will do that at some point in the very near future we just wanted to get an overview of what the car's like 
But I have to say I'm very impressed. Don't I know would, about you. I would say that that overview is, it's a very, very good car. Mm. Love the styling, love mm. the interior, mm. love how it drives. Very it's comfy. It's the whole package. Yes. So there you go. That is a little road trip. Well, little. <laughs> Quite a long road trip. 250 mile road yeah. trip. Around Wales. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this little road trip, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on the new Hyundai Santa Fe. Do you like the styling? I think I've been converted. I wasn't sure. Um, but most importantly, please do subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on so you never miss one of our uploads. If you'd like to support us, there are a few different ways you can do that. The first of which is free. Go down to the video description and check out all of our social media, which are linked down there. Please go and follow us in all of those places. Secondly, you can buy some channel merchandise on our spread shop. That's also linked in the video description. Or thirdly, if you'd like to stay on YouTube, you can become a channel member and give us a small amount monthly. So please go and do one or all of those things and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.